everybody hello everybody hello everybody hello everybody hello everybody and welcome back to GBS engineering today I have a little unboxing to do um, it's a Sonos soundbar and uh, taking my special knife here and basically what I want to do is um, replace my uh, <laughs> homebrew home theater system and uh, um, put this in its place and it'll be interesting to see how this performs. I've heard them as I've been going through um, the airports and I've had the opportunity to turn them up and I thought to myself, you know what? That's actually really quite a cool piece of kit, but it's also quite an expensive piece of kit. And my question is, is this worth it? So, a trip down to Argos, <laughs> and here it is. Nice box. Uh, all right, so we'll just go ahead and unbox it, find out what's in the box, and uh, then we will then we will get rid of my old hi-fi system. I'll show you that. It's quite an interesting homebrew hi-fi system. The cover has slid off. Well, it's really well packaged, I'll say that. It's, uh, it's really quite pretty. Um, so anyway, you know what? I think uh, you sort of know what you're gonna get, don't you? Very nice bit of cloth that this comes in. It's quite, it's got a heft to it. It's quite heavy. It's, um, it's about four kilos, something like that. Um, it's sort of small. It's compact and beige and it sits in its own little box. It's got, I believe, Amazon Alexa built in, which is something that I don't use. I do, however, use um, Google, Google Assistant. So uh, just maybe, just maybe there'll be a Google Assistant built in there as well. We'll find out soon enough. On the back, one HDMI port, one RJ45 port, which is the, uh, like an internet, uh, style connection and one mains connector a figure of eight style 240 volt mains connector and very interestingly it also has what looks like two little m6 threaded sockets on the back of it as well so that you can bolt it to perhaps a bracket and mount it on the wall so apparently it's bluetooth it's wi-fi and uh, all of that kind of stuff <laughs> and I didn't realize it, I just realized it, but Sonos reads the same way upside down as it does side down up. So, um, what are those called? Um, but yeah, it's sort of profiled as well. It's, uh, it's got a little sort of dip here and here. It's, uh, it's certainly an interesting looking beastie. Welcome music lover. Let's get started. What's in here then? Beam, download the Sonos app. So you need to download an app for your phone. Uh, and then there's a little instruction booklet that probably tells you not to use it in your bathroom because you might get electrocuted when it falls in a bath or something like that. Right, let's plug it in. First of all, so let me show you my existing stereo system. This is what I want to replace. It's comprised of a large um, double, which I think they're 12 inch uh, kicker sub bass with a rather large 200 watt sub bass amplifier on the back of it all quite well wired in and that's got its own little power supply and then um and then the two main speakers the primary speakers are gale speakers i'm thinking to move those two gale speakers into the camper van because they're quite small um, and they'd certainly look quite good inside the camper van if we can find room for them perhaps hang them from the uh, from the from the ceiling somewhere and then there's a little class d uh, digital amplifier which uh, is actually really really quite good if you look at the components inside of it it's uh, really well put together um, and sounds absolutely magnificent so the current system does actually sound really quite nice so it's going to be interesting to see how this sonos beam compares with my existing sound system Volume wise, I don't think there'll be a patch on it. I think my existing system is gonna have a lot more bang for the buck. But to be honest, the amount of times that I actually crank it up, very, very, 
irregular. So anyway, I'd really like to clean up all of this mess that we've got. And that's the, that's the key point here. I'd really like to clean up all of this mess and replace it with something a little more simplistic uh, and uh, a little prettier. So hopefully this Sonos beam will do that exactly that. Um, and uh, so let's get on and plug it in and see how it sounds. So as always, there's a little bit of jiggery pokery to be done, poking around on the phone, setting up accounts and updating the Sonos system and all that kind of madness. Right, so, so then you've got to try and find your uh, ARC channel on the telly. And um, it's sort of hard work to do that. So what I did is I got a bit inventive and uh, I used the phone to take a picture whilst the telly was on the wall so that I could identify which was the ARC channel. So now I know where it is, I'm gonna start plugging stuff in. But basically, you need to plug the ARC channel, the audio return channel, into the Sonos Beam. Now this is the epic bit. Sonos is asking me to use the microphone on my phone to go ahead and tune the sound so that the sound in the room is balanced for me. This is quite epic. So uh, it's going to adjust all of the different speakers on the same bar and uh, get everything set up so that uh, when I'm watching the television, it sounds best um, sitting in this particular spot in the room. Right, let's go ahead and make it happen. Hey everyone, finally we got it set up. It works. It's got a reasonably nice sort of bass response to it. I'm obviously playing some of my music over the top of it at the moment because uh, I, I don't want it, I don't want to get a copyright strike or anything like that. But um, a few little quirks. Um, I'll just turn the music down. So, great news, I can control the music on the telly and uh, also I can control the music control the music on the telephone as well um, a few little quirks I can't seem to play any of my any of my Apple music songs all of those lovely songs <laughs> well you might not consider take on me lovely um, by aha but um, you know ACDC back in black there's loads of stuff on here and unfortunately it it, it won't play there <laughs> lunatic um yeah so I, I can't seem to figure out a way to make those play through the sonos speaker but um and the other thing is is uh and uh, if you don't have a spotify account or if you don't have a youtube premium music account and stuff like that then you you can't play uh you can't play music uh you can ask it to play some free music uh let's give that a go real quick Play some reggae. Okay, playing reggae on YouTube music. Sorry, the requested media content isn't available for your YouTube music subscription tier. So, yeah, um, it looks as though if you want to play music on this thing, uh, you, you have to go with something like SoundCloud uh, as a free service, which is the only one that I seem to have found that seems to be working at the moment. Uh, or otherwise, you're going to have to sign up and you have to spend some money i don't know what the subscription is 10 pounds a month or something to to be able to get uh music out of this but it does sound nice and the, all of the tuning you know walking around with the phone and all of that kind of stuff um so tuning it all up that was really interesting and um and, and getting it set up was uh, was quite an experience but in the end yeah great news we can start to get rid of some of this stuff that's hanging on the wall um, and you know but yeah anyway great news so we can clean up and we can get rid of some of the old speakers that are on the walls um, and get rid of the big old bass bins in the in, in the corner there um, and <laughs> you never know we might end up having to buy uh, a wireless subwoofer for this at some point it does it definitely has some nice punchy bass to it but it's not that sort of thunderous deep cavity chest pounding bass that I would really love so um, it's 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 got a lovely sound to it there's no denying it's got a lovely sound to it 
Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. <laughs> Neil's uh, Neil's video appears to be popping up in the uh, in the top left hand corner of my telly at the moment, which is uh, upgrading the Amiga 500. <laughs> this is his new board that he's been building. It's absolutely fantastic. So I can't wait to see. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to press the watch button in a few minutes, sit down and enjoy a bit of retro man cave. As always, thanks ever so much for watching Dubious Engineering. I hope this has been slightly interesting to you. I hope you enjoyed my really funky uh, sound system setup for the, for the TV. And uh, I'm sure you'll see then that the uh, Sonos Beam is doing a magnificent job and uh, it will be uh, well loved for, for for many many years to come good stuff make sure you give us a good old thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we look forward to seeing you in the next video take care people bye for now